I'm like living in my mom's basement. I had no money. Yeah. Uh, dropped out of college, community college, um, to chase his dream. And I was just bumping my head over and over. And then I found this one group and I would pass out CDs every night outside the club mm. every night. And I would message 800 people a day on MySpace every day. Wow. And I would get carpal tunnel syndrome. Mm. But I had no other choice because I didn't have money for marketing. Yeah. Like. You're doing the one-to-one. -one I'm doing one-to-one because -one yeah. it's all I could afford. Mm. The only thing I could spend was my energy. Yeah. But I had no other choice because mm. I knew I was special. But my results didn't show I was yeah, special. Yeah, no, that's, that's a tough one. You know, that takes a lot of courage to continue that journey when you're seeing and you're lacking those results, right? You have to have that belief, which is so strong. You had that belief, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I had like seven businesses fail before I ever had one that made money. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, that's why I asked you. I'm like, oh, I, I wish even to this day, even though I'm successful now and I've won Grammys and Emmys and I've had million dollar clothing lines and all sorts of stuff and nike and all this crazy stuff i've never had something be easy mm. ever no i mean i wouldn't just because it was profitable i wouldn't say that i didn't fail i mean we've been close to bankrupt probably five six times lawsuits you know a lot of issues with wow with, yeah there, there's always problems i mean entrepreneurship is I compare it to extreme sport game, you know, I mean, hmm. sports almost more or less. I mean, you need to keep your mind in control, you know, especially if you're starting alone, you have, you're limited, right? You're hmm. doing everything yourself, which means those failures, you're facing them alone. Hmm. You have nobody around you to say, hey, come on, you can do it one more time. You can work those extra 50 hours. Hmm. Now the servers fell down, but don't worry, you got it. You have to have that inner motivation, right? And so many people are, for example, writing me on Instagram. They're like, okay, hey, I'm not motivated. I don't like school. I don't know what to do. I don't motivate. What do I do? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's a hard one. Like the only thing I can think of if you're not motivated is you haven't, you haven't found something that you really, really are passionate about. Because I always chased the passion. I was never like, I want to become a billionaire. I, I never started there. I started with what I love doing. And as long as I love doing something, I wanted to just chase that excellence level, right? It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what it is. If I was in, when I was in music, I was chasing the excellence level on the beats, on the vocal, you know, had the best microphones. I was chasing the top level there. You know, when I was working with commercials, I was doing the same there. How, you know, I want, I want these guys to be able to sell with my commercial, even though I don't like to make commercials because I was wanting to make music. But, you know, if you chase that excellence level and you become good enough at it, the money often comes as a side or, you know, it comes after. Mm -hmm. So it, it wasn't easy. It was tough, but um, you, you got to keep on, keep on going. Yeah.